Hello everyone, this is lesson number five and in this video we will talk about how to sort your data in Excel and how to use different sort features. So here on your screen you can see there is a table and this is all about students exams so I'm going to use this for an example so I've got some names here in the first column and in the second column all the date of births in the third column is class names fourth column is the subject name and fifth column is marks and sixth column is the result of the exams if someone is pass or fail let's talk about the first column first so in the first column if we want to change these names to an alphabetical order then we will select these cells by click and hold and drag to the bottom and select all of the rows in that column and click right then you can see this sort option and number one is sort a to z and number two is sort z to a so i will choose the number one option and that is this one as soon as i clicked on that option this window pops up and you can see this is a kind of sort warning it's just telling me to expand the selection so that my data is not jumbling up after the sorting filter applied so we are going to choose this option expand the selection the warning is microsoft excel found data next to your selection since you have not selected this data it will not be sorted it means the first column will be sorted but the rest of the columns will not be sorted and all of the data will be mixed up so to avoid that kind of confusion we will try to expand the selection what it has already given us as an option and this is being selected already as you can see so we'll just go with this and click sort so when you do that then you can see it has changed all of these names into an order that is alphabetical a to z order but it has also changed the rest of the linked information with this column so for example if we are talking about ahmad ahmad had uh, some other information in these columns as well for example his date of birth and his class name and his exam his marks and his results so if we don't select the expand option so what will happen let's go back and check so here we'll sort this data again by doing the selection first and right click sort and a to z and it says expand the selection but we don't want to do this this time so we will just go with the second option and you can see only first column is in alphabetical order and it has changed its order but the rest of the columns are still same it means the all of the data is jumbled up so to avoid this kind of situation we should actually go with the expand the selection option so i'm going back again select all of the cells and then sort a to z and then expand the selection so this option is already been selected and we should just click on this sort button and you can see it has sorted all of the information in that table table could be 
bigger than this it can be of any size so that was all about a to z sorting but if you want to do this to another column we'll just select the data and and we will go with these options sort oldest to newest sort newest to oldest so I will go with the first one now it will ask us the same question again and I will go with expand the selection and you can see this is in order now so the oldest one is here and the youngest one is here now if I want to sort this column I will select the rows in that column right click and go to the sort button try sort A to Z or Z to A so I will go with A to Z it means lowest to highest so expand the selection then you can see all the year ones are first then year twos then year threes are there so if you want to see the marks in an order where you can find the top 10 of the group or just top 5 of the group or top 3 or just the highest then you just select these all rows and right click and go to the sort option again so use this option second option sort largest to smallest go with expand the selection option as well so you can see Sandeep has scored 84 and he is the topper Ahmed has scored 82 he is second and Fatima has scored 71 and she is the third one that is it for today and I hope you liked the lesson so I will be back with a new lesson soon Please subscribe my channel and please like and share my videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.